Hello, hello, Facebook and YouTube. This is Stephanie, aka Ed Mihas Tusatopa, and I just um, here to do a random reading. Um, don't ask me why I wait to the last minute to try to shift through my cords and plug this up and plug that up. Don't even bother asking. Cause I don't even know. <laughs> but uh Yeah. Alright, so um just wanted to come and do you know my bad, hold on. Just wanted to come and do a quick reading. Um for the collective, everyone humanity okay all right so I'm gonna do a 10 card spread and see what messages come across for us okay one more So, most definitely moving on to calmer waters in relationships as there's some truths and um, new opportunities being um, made available to us, passionate new beginnings, um, and all from, from spirit, all from the divine that is... Um, coming to give us clarity where there's a lot of mental conflict um, give us strength and power in places where we feel defeated um, clarity where we feel confused so that we can clearly cut out those things that are um, in relationships that are in our lives that are not for our highest good um, Which is going to bring us happiness and mastery over um, illusions and um, toxicity, illusions in regards to relationships, you know, um, and what they mean to us and what they should mean to us. Um, maybe taking off um, so much weight that we and so much responsibility that we put on other people to bring us happiness. We're moving into the energy of understanding that our happiness is our own responsibility. You know, coming into the realization that we have all of the knowledge that we need, um, all of the power that we need to master this mental suit that makes us feel like we are in need of external things to make us happy when truly it's all about our spiritual connection and being open and receptive to that you know so spirit is gifting us with a new opportunity um, to open up more in that realm to help us overcome this indecision um, help us overcome all of this confusion um, and not being not having our heart and mind on one accord. You know, our ancestors are coming in to help us cultivate the uh, relationships that we need. Most importantly, that relationship with self, with ourselves, you know, um, getting in tune with you know your star player mastering your own inner demons your own inner child traumas um we're looking for um people outside of us to do that for us but spirit wants us to know and is guiding us to understand that we have all of the resources that we need to um bring about justice in our life to bring about clarity 
and fairness, pure purity in our dealings, growth, um, and discernment, you know. Yeah, so time, Spirit is saying it's time for a deep dive, you know. And to be fearless and bold when you go within. And, and, you know, look at that man in the mirror. Start taking responsibility for um, some of the past hurts that you may have um, allowed to take hold because you didn't heal that inner child, um, those inner child woundings, you know. So spirit has given us the strength to overcome any obstacle in this time. So, you know, all it takes is you taking that step, you know, going into that meditation um, energy. And just waiting for spirit to bring you um, that enlightenment because it's coming. All you have to do is take the time, make time for spirit. Because spirit is wanting to communicate with us, but we're blocked, you know. A lot of people are blocked because we're afraid, perhaps, of what will be revealed. But spirit is saying, be fearless and bold and know that you can overcome any obstacle that may come up, you know. Um, you're strong enough to face your fears, face those childhood traumas, overcome those generational curses. Um, as we have the cow spirit here, which is that mothering energy, the mothers, the council of mothers are here to help mend, you know, those broken relationships, um, well, to mend the effect that those, the mental effect that those broken relationships have, um, caused a lot of people. And, and we're being gifted a, a, a fresh start, you know, a new beginning. Look at this card just kind of stuck behind there. You're never alone. Look at that. It was just stuck on this deck. I didn't even know. But Spirit wants us to know that we are never alone. We are never alone. There's love surrounding us at all times. Your spirit guides, guardian angels. They are all, there's hope around you at all times. Do not allow society to make you think or feel otherwise. Um, you know, overcoming um, so moon energy and protect your dreams. So we just had a full moon. I'm going to take these cards. We just had a full moon in Capricorn that um, happened on the 4th of July. And it, not only was it a, a full moon, but it was a, a lunar eclipse. So it was a lot of um, emotions had, you know, came up during that time, I'm sure. But it says here again, you know, surrender to the natural ebb and flow of life. If you're feeling confused, this fairy comes to calm emotions and reassure you that peace of mind is possible. It is. Face those um, emotions, okay? Know that you have the power to calm those emotions. Like I said, it's time for a deep dive. Because in you healing these um codependent relationships codependent feeling in you healing that you are moving more into your life purpose here on earth you know um, and protecting your dreams it says you are the guardian of your precious dreams and they are safe in your care keep them close to your heart until you're ready to release them but, you know, in order for you to truly be able to live out your dream successfully, you have to heal yourself. Because if you have all this toxic um, energy within you from, you know, past relationships, past hurts or just fear from, you know, situations not working out before. Um, you're going to 
end up sabotaging your dreams, you know. Um, but spirit is opening us up to a new beginning, okay. You may, like I said, you may be feeling afraid and confused as to whether you are strong enough to go after your dreams. Um, if you have what it takes, but again, spirit is saying, be fearless and bold. You can overcome any obstacles. It's time for a deep dive. Truly go deep and face those fears that are, that is keeping you from living your, um, best life. And once you do, that's going to open up the doorway to new beginnings. It says here, the fairy godmother. And it's funny, it says the fairy godmother because it came out right over um, that cow energy, the council of mothers that I was seeing, that I, you know, felt um, as cows represent that mothering energy. And then we have the three of cups here, which I, you know, as a reader feel is the... Um, you know, the Council of Mothers, because as you see, there's three women here. So it's like the Council of Mothers watching over you, guarding, guarding you, um, your guardian angels, your ancestors. You know, um, I, more, I feel like this is your ancestors because clarifying it, uh, we have the Ten of Pentacles. OK, and, you know, underneath that is the Queen of Swords. They're protecting you. They want, again, they want us to know that we are never alone. There's never anything that we ever need to be afraid of. Just call out to them in time of fear. And they will bring in life energy and also create a magical gateway for you um, in order for you to, you know, truly step into a new way of doing things. You know, revitalizing um, your enthusiasm for life. Okay, so the life energy card here says the, um, well, let me finish this. It says the fairy godmother heralds the joyous news of a new baby or the birth of a cherished idea. Exactly. Protect your dreams. And within you protecting your dreams um, by healing, you are um, opening up and birthing those dreams and those heart desires that you've um, been um, holding within your soul for so long. So it's, um, it says protect and nurture your ideas as you would a baby. Okay, so we're getting that life energy here to, you know, um, truly take control truly believe in ourselves and overcome the uh, illusions that we are not enough time for a beginner's mind porcupine spirit and that again is going to bring us life energy in the magical gateway so the life energy card says the happy fairy of sunshine brings lots of life-giving energy she reminds you to shine your light bright exactly the star card this is coming out where the star and the emperor card is the emperor is making those executive decisions and the emperor is the king of kings he's like the master of all the suits you're mastering yourself and going to the next level exactly with the magical gateway going through the door ascending but the happy fairy of sunshine brings lots of life-giving energy she reminds you to shine your light and to reveal anything in the shadows that need to be healed exactly those childhood traumas those um the toxicity the codependency those addictions whatever addictions you may have whether it be sex addiction the drug addiction but truly uh, releasing those and know that you have help here that is helping you to overcome that magical gateway it takes courage it takes courage to take that deep dive and face your fears to go into the unknown you know the moon energy is that unknown energy you know wow and that's exactly what it says here it says it takes courage and trust to venture into the unknown yet this is where the greatest rewards are. It's time to step boldly forward without looking back. Wow, look at that. That's beautiful. Let's get um, a nature, the, the native heart healing oracle card. These cards are very powerful. I really like these. I just got these um, yesterday um, along with, I think, two other decks. 
I got yesterday. I collect Oracle and Tarot decks. All right, so I'm gonna show up with this one more time. But yeah, most definitely get in tune with your intuition here. It's gonna help to bring you the inspired action and messages from spirit that you need. The record keeper and then silver wolf. Let's read the messages. So four is all about stability. Wow, we got two fours. Spirit is wanting us to ground ourselves, to be in an energy of stability. Um, because if we're not grounded, we're in survival mode. And it's time out for that. You know, it's, it's time to go through this magical gateway and not be in survival mode anyway anymore. Be stuck in this 3D energy, but tapping into that 5D energy more. Again, our ancestors are calling to us. Remember, we had the Ace of Swords clarified by the Ace of Rods, and all the Aces are messages from spirit. All right, so um, let's see what the message has to say here, okay? So the Record Keeper card, meditate on this uh, mandala. The record keeper card is about your divine path, shared learning, the wisdom of an elder. I say, so we, you have an elder um, ancestor coming in to speak to all of us, you know, wanting us to truly tap into this magical energy that is available to us after this full moon that we just had. It is it ushered in a lot of powerful energy. It says this mandala. Uh, mandala holds the energy of the great halls of wisdom and brings forth divine guidance of the ancient ways Ashe. the great halls of wisdom contain all that we are and have been like the akashic re records um, i may we'll do that another time i think it's a library of divine wisdom that just as each soul's soul continues to grow, it's ever evolving. So the library of divine wisdom is ever evolving as our soul always grows. You know, the halls, the great halls also contain divine blueprints or one's Akashic records. I just said that, right? Beyond the earthly plane. The record keeper also contains ancient keys that can unlock sacred teachings from advanced civilizations that inhabit alternative planes of, of existence, other um, dimensions and such. Um, so that's prompting me. So uh, after this reading, I may get my Akashic Records deck and a Magical Dimensions deck and do a reading as well. But we'll see. Um beautiful beautiful energy though um, it says to access information from the great halls of wisdom one must listen with an open heart and with no expectations for there is a consciousness held within and only those that seek pure intention will gain entry so remember that okay like I said didn't it say talk, uh, time for a deep dive um, the consciousness is held within you must go with an open heart to face your fears go with no expectations for there is consciousness held within you okay and only those you need to go in with their pure heart be fearless and bold and go in with a pure heart because we're doing the work to protect your dreams to get you into this energy of this new beginning to get to revitalize your uh, enthusiasm for life again this life energy to get you through this magical gateway to your divine path right so it says you are being called to bring higher ways of being into your present life for the greater good this mandala seeks to unite each person one at a time to increase awareness exactly and expansion by harmoniously blending ancient ways with modern times it is time for you to be aware of the birth right then then this new beginning speak of birth birthing cherished ideas protecting and nourishing your ideas as you would a baby protecting your dreams 
or even a, a new birth coming in. It says this is a time for you to be aware of the birth of a melodic sound vibration that will sing to the song lines across the globe okay so your elevation is going to help with the elevation of the whole it's like i you know collective consciousness i feel like if each one of us do the work and elevate we it's like that pebble and that you throw in the pond that ripples all throughout the ocean uh, you can throw a pebble in the ocean in florida and that that vibration is going to go throughout the whole um see you know that reverberation will be felt and again so as you elevate your energy everything around you has to elevate too it's just part of the universal laws so as you elevate your energy people around you are going to have to elevate or they're going to move around you know um so it says here's a, a, a meditation for the record keeper i'm gonna hold this up here it says Find yourself somewhere comfortable to sit or lie. Place the record keeping, keeper mandala in your hand, the opposite hand to the one you write with. So you can just imagine. Your imagination is very powerful. So imagine that you have this card or this mandala in your hand, uh, in your non-dominant hand, and keep your writing hand available to write. Close your eyes. Focus on your breath. Bring your awareness down into your heart space and take a moment to be within the vastness that is there. When you are ready, call forth the consciousness of the halls of great wisdom. The consciousness of the great halls of wisdom and do so with pure intention. Breathe, relax, and listen as you begin to hear a sound, then a song. This is your soul's song. Your heart's song is a pure vibration that can unlock that can unlock all that the great halls contain. Do not worry if you hear no sound. At times your song can be felt as a vibration as it is something the ear chakras have not been accustomed to for some time. Trust that you will know and feel when you are within the great halls. Take your time, right? Time for a deep dive. Take your time and be guided while it's within this space. Know that you're not alone. Your ancestors are with you, guiding you through this whole meditation, okay? They're with us. You may receive what you are needing without awareness, but all will be revealed in perfect time. When you feel ready, imagine a rose pink orb within the hand that is holding the mandala. Remember, imagine, I said imagine. imagine, your imagination is powerful. So re imagine a rose, uh, imagine a rose pink orb within the hand that is holding the mandala. Watch it as it begins to spin and become one with your hand. When you're ready, bring your awareness back to your hands, your feet, and the rest of your physical body. Then open your eyes. You may wish to journal your experiences. All right, so the key elements to this uh, record keeper card is rose pink ray, hand chakras, ear chakras, the heart chakra. So do any work that you can to heal the heart chakra. Um, you can breathe into that heart chakra. Um, imagine vibrant green light going into the heart chakra, um, the air element, um, Lib Libra, Aquarius, um, what's the other, and Gemini, you know, may, may be um, potent for you. Music, vibration, song lines, a divine blueprint, wisdom, and whales, whales, okay, and then we have the silver wolf. Let's see what message those silver, wow. The, the heart and mind connection, instinct, a steadying influence, steadying, right? For foundation. Um, and below that card was the self mastery card. And then I say that this, the energy that spirit is wanting us to step into. All right, silver wolf. 
This healing mandala brings divine guidance from Silver Wolf. The, be the beings of this planet that are, uh, the beings of this planet are in blessed times, Ashe, and that we are living and experiencing the rising energy of the divine feminine, Ashe. That's what a lot of my readings have been talking about, and it's not just for feminines. It's not just for um, people that were born women. It's for everyone. This divine masculine, divine feminine, the feminine and masculine, these labels mean nothing, really. We have, we all each have both energies within us and we need to master and balance both of those energies, you know. That's why we have women who feel like they're, they're supposed to be men. That's why we have men that feel like they're supposed to be women. They just have more of one than the other. But it's each and every one of ours duty to balance that energy within it says the earth's underlying vibration is shifting and what was a mental masculine world is becoming a feeling feminine world. So get in touch with your feelings. Remember this moon energy is all about emotions, the unknown. It's time for a deep dive, remember? So feeling, it says our feelings guide us as each person awakens to the feminine ways of being. As each person, not just feminines, remember, you know, this oracle asks you to step out of your mental processes and allow your heart and your feelings to be your guide. Left to its own devices, the mind slash ego will create a world filled with self-doubt. Exactly. We're overcoming that because that's where our happiness lies and overcoming that, that ego. Mastering the ego, okay? Not getting rid of it, but mastering because we need it. And, but it's learning how and when to bring it up to use it and to call it forth. Not let, l allowing it to run rampant, you know. It says, however, when you begin to filter, through, filter your th thoughts through your heart space, your heart will communicate with your sacred mind and birth a union like no other. Ashe, 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 ashe. You are also being reminded to view your feelings. View your feelings, your inner. Um, your inner tuition <laughs> as your master teacher. Your intuition. Your senses are becoming heightened. So be gentle with yourself as you create and integrate new ways of living more intuitively. Okay, remember your instinct is your trusted friend and teacher as you journey in uncharted waters. Silver Wolf is at your side. The Silver Wolf Meditation. Lie down somewhere comfortable and place the Silver Wolf Mandala on your left shoulder. So just imagine that this mandala is on your left shoulder. Allow your breath to slow and feel the calm within. When ready, visualize yourself sitting in a circle surrounded by female ancestors. Wow, didn't I say this was, I felt like this was the card of like your female ancestors, the Council of Mothers. Um, female ancestors. Imagine yourself surrounded by female ancestors that have walked the path before you. They feel an absolute love and support for you on all levels and are present to guide you as the divine feminine rises in you. Feel the power coming from within the circle. Feel the strength of women united in holding the flame of love. Embrace your inner teacher, the unspoken word and the power of knowing. Affirm to yourself that this is your new way of being, right? New beginnings, life energy, magical gateway, remember? Know it is safe for you to acknowledge and be with the divine feminine. Envision a silver wolf approaching the sacred circle. If you so choose, the silver wolf will sit at your left side from here on in. If you wish to reintegrate any fragmented feminine aspect of yourself, do so by simply inviting them in. Invite them in. Invite your mother in. If you have a toxic relationship with your mother or a mother that has passed, invite her in so that we can do this healing, Ashe. Or any feminine um, role models or people or figures in your life. Bring, imagine them coming in, whether they're here in the physical or, or not. Still imagine them coming into this healing energy. 
Invite them in. When you are ready, bring your attention back to your physical self by moving your fingers and toes and opening your eyes. As this mandala honors the feminine within, it also honors the masculine without. Ashe. In this new phase, the earth is guided by the divine feminine and the masculine returns to the heart of all that is. Your wild heart is free to feel its way forward as you journey on. Ashe. The key elements, silver ray, the seven chakras, particularly the heart chakra, the four elements, divine, the feminine power, ancestors, tribe, sensitivity, and womb. Exactly. So let's see what um, messages that our ancestors want to give us on today. Um, let's see what comes out. This is one of the new decks I just got. Um, I'm hoping that my phone don't cut out. <laughs> on me I'm gonna do one more and I'm gonna pull five cards life partner spirit is saying allow them to be our life partner um, release I never meant to hurt you the way we met was unreal I know I owe you an apology Okay, so this could be, you know, again, we're going within, right? We're facing those inner traumas. So it could be a life partner we have had in the past that created some trauma. That life partner could be, you know, a mothering or fathering energy, a family member. You know, spirit just want us to take a deep dive into that, that relationship and release any pain that uh, may have happened forgive them for they know not what they do they did what they did to you because perhaps they were hurt okay and so it says you know i never meant to hurt you the way we met was unreal okay um so this could possibly be about your ancestors coming in the miracles that are coming in okay the way we met that is unreal um there because there's do have the energy of new love coming in here with the page see we have the page of cups here right with the the way we met was unreal so as you do this healing spirit is going to bring in um a miracle that life partner that person your your um divine masculine or divine feminine energy or it's just you are going to meet yourself you're going to meet your highest self you're going to truly be whole again um, then it has here, I know I owe you an apology. Time for a beginner's mind. Maybe you owe yourself an apology for, you know, submitting to this devil illusionary energy, okay? And so it's time to overcome this um, because bottom of the deck, <laughs> you know, it says here, this is some messy shit, you know, and it's time to deal with it. It's time to deal with it. Our union will happen in this time. You have my whole heart. Remember, we're, we're becoming whole. We're divine.